Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm making a video on probably the most suggested thing that I've had over the past couple of months. I've probably had at least one comment every day since November telling me to make a video on things that I'd like EA to add to career mode. So I'm finally making it and hopefully you enjoy it. Before I start, if you've got any suggestions of things that you think I might miss, make sure that you put them in the comments below and I might make a follow up video. Even if I don't, it'll be fun to read everyone's ideas as the video progresses. So what's actually going to be in this video? So I'm going to suggest five ideas that I have for things that could be in career mode and would make it a lot better. Starting with the most realistic ones, things that might already be in the game but in different game modes. And eventually getting more abstract and getting to things that maybe aren't in FIFA yet but they might be in Pairs or Football Manager. And I'll be telling you why I think it should be added to FIFA. So let's get started straight away with the thing that I think is the most realistic and it's something that's already in Ultimate Team. That is the stadium customization options in the game. So in Ultimate Team, you start off with a really small stadium. You can rank up eventually to get rank two, rank three. I think there's a rank four as well. Don't quote me on that. And your stadium gets bigger and bigger. You can customize the color of the seats. You can customize the color of the sort of advertising boards around the stadium, not the actual advertising boards themselves. You can change the net types. You can change the color of the pitch fireworks if you score a goal it's pretty in depth how much you can change personally i think this is something that's going to be added in one of the next couple of fifas all they need to do is add a couple of different stadium models so at the minute they've got like a modern bowl kind of stadium but if they added a four stadiums in like a square formation like an english lower league ground for example all you really need is a couple of variations and then from there you can create a stadium exactly how you want it you could have maybe half a bowl, half of a more traditional stadium with four stands. You could change the colors of the seats, you can change the pitch, you can change anything you want, you know, the cut of the grass even. I think this is going to be added pretty soon. The main reason I'm so confident about this is because I think all of these features, including different designs of the stadium, probably will be added to Ultimate Team. And it's such an integral part of Ultimate Team this year. It's the background to the whole game. Everything you do, you get more progression into your stadium, and it was a big selling point when they were actually announcing the game last year. I think adding more stadiums to this customization, they can't really avoid adding this to career mode, especially as it's such a wanted feature. And that's why I think in either FIFA 22 or FIFA 23, you're going to see customizable stadiums added into the game. The second thing that I think will be added to career mode very soon is something else that's also in Ultimate Team and that's sort of the club customization. You can have your goal music, you can have your badge, your kits, but they're all things that already exist. I think FIFA is very close to having its own kit customizer added into Ultimate Team and I think it will probably only be one or two years after that that it will get added into career mode. Again, like the stadium designer, you'll probably need a couple of different variations and then just change the colors on them and you'll be able to create something that maybe is a bit similar to a design that you can think of in your head. I can't imagine something like this would be perfect straight away in an EA game and there'd obviously be limitations. You couldn't just have any image on the kit because you know people would take advantage of that on online. So imagine they'd also restrict this in career mode so you can't just create a replica of another kit. It might be a bit hard to do this with the licensed teams because I know a lot of licensed teams will want their sponsors on there because they're getting paid a lot of money to show them. So I'm not sure how EA would actually add this to career mode. Maybe it could just be unlicensed teams or maybe you'd only be able to edit the third kit or fourth kit if you already have a third kit for your team. Either way, I think that this idea would also pair well in my next idea, which is full club customizations from kit to stadium to badge to name to division i think this needs to be added into career mode to make it a little bit more fun you could already do something similar on the old fifa games where you could have the import your own team that you've created on the website import it into the save it would be very buggy and of course i think all your players had 99 potential and it would crash the game quite a lot but something like this really should be added into an ea game because you can already kind of do this on Football Manager. It has create your own club mode. You can draft in your players or rename the ones that already exist at this club. And you just replace that club from the database. If Football Manager can do this from all the leagues and different licensing rules that it has, surely EA can do something similar where you can just create your club, port it straight in. Or it could even be something like how the Codemasters F1 games does it with create your own team. So you create your own racing team. 
and instead of replacing one of the existing 10 teams, you just become the 11th team on the grid. So all of a sudden, there's two extra cars, that's your team. You could do something like that, maybe. I don't know how it would work if you've got 21 teams in the Premier League. It would be a bit awkward. But I'm sure there's a lot of very smart people working at EA who could figure out how to do this. My fourth thing that I think should be added into career mode, but is getting less and less likely, is adding more realistic licensed referees. I mean, the whole refereeing situation, including VAR, needs to be revamped already, so why not add realistic referees into this section of the game? I'm sure the licensing fees for every single referee in every single league would probably be less than that David Beckham card they released a couple of months ago, so why can't this happen? It would make the game a little bit more realistic, obviously you don't see the referee much, but you don't see your players either, and people still love to have only real face players in their squads, so it's just a minor thing that would maybe have a big improvement on the game. As I quickly mentioned, also VAR should definitely be added. It's already kind of in the game, but maybe they could add the proper graphics for the Premier League and other leagues that use it. You know, another minor thing, but another thing that would increase the realism on your save, make it a bit more true to how the presentation is in real life. My fifth and final idea is actually going to be something that was in the game before, but it's also been removed. I think it's probably very unlikely it'll get re-added, but that's having classic kits in career mode. They were already in Ultimate Team for ages, then they got rid of all of them from Ultimate Team as well. So I'm thinking that this should be something that should definitely be added in. More and more you're seeing clubs play in retro throwback kits, these won't get added to FIFA. There's also the fact that it can avoid some awkward kit clashes. I know there's definitely a couple of teams in the English League that almost have exactly the same kit, so they'll have an all red away kit and then red and white stripes in the home kit. It might be a bit awkward for them. So if you've got a classic kit in there as well, maybe in the past they played in blue, all of a sudden you've got another option to avoid kit clashes. Personally, it also makes me less bored of my career mode save. Constantly changing the way my team looks on the pitch really does help me keep engaged. That might just be a personal thing, but if I'm playing in the same kit over and over and over and over, I just get a little bit tired, a bit bored of the save. You know, it seems like not a lot's changing. I'm just playing the same match against the same AI over and over in the same kits and the same stadiums. So having an extra set of kits in there can kind of help prevent this. And to be honest, while you're at it with their classic kits, why not also add some icons that you can take over as a manager so they've already got the real face. I know of course you can do this on PC already, but you should be able to do this on console. Pez has something similar. You can take over Diego Maradona in the game. You've got Maradona as your manager or Zico or Johan Cruyff's in there I think as well. So you've got all these options. You can just take over a legend or you can be yourself. Something that would be pretty interesting in a FIFA career mode save. But anyway, that's all the ideas I've got for FIFA career mode and how they should improve on FIFA 22. I'd love to hear your ideas as I said right at the start of the video, so please do let me know, either message me on our Discord, which is in the description, or feel free to comment below any ideas that you have. Even if it's not about this, you can if you've got an idea for a video that you think I should make, just let me know that too. Thank you for watching, um, give the video a like if you liked any of my ideas, and subscribe if you want to see more career mode content, mainly career mode guides going forwards, but also one-off videos like this where I'll talk about top 5 things or little facts or little experiments that I've done in the game, all fun stuff, so subscribe if you want to see any of that in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully very soon. Cheers!